Ladies and gentlemen, the Washington Business Hall of Fame is pleased to present the Washington Performing Arts Society's Children of the Gospel Choir with Stanley J. Thurston, Artistic Director. present to you our 2008 Washington Business Hall of Fame laureates accompanied this evening by students from Walker Jones Elementary School in Washington DC <laughs> presenting Richard D Fairbank accompanied by Natori Ashton presenting Mr. Donald E Graham and Imani Harrison Mr. Mandel J. Orisman, accompanied by Kadea Taylor. Mr. Milton V. Peterson, with student Ayanna Bradford. And Ms. Linda Rabbit, escorted by Mr. Jaleel Marlowe. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2008 Washington Business Hall of Fame laureates. And now... Please welcome the chair of the Washington Business Hall of Fame, Steve Snyder, and president and CEO of Junior Achievement in the National Capital Area, Edward Grenier. Good evening. My name is Steve Snyder, and as chair of this evening's event, I have the pleasure of thanking you for your commitment and generosity especially during these difficult financial times when generosity and compassion are most needed virtues and there are many pressing needs. It is easy to forget during these times the needs of our future generations of adults. During the 1930s, Eleanor Roosevelt wrote, I have moments of real terror when I think we might be losing this generation. We have got to bring these young people 
into the active life of the community and make them feel that they are necessary. The kids of Junior Achievement thank you for making room for them in the community of solution makers for our financial future, for understanding that they are indeed necessary. These are challenging times in our country where Washington has become the political and financial capital of the world. There are many different views in this city on how to solve our financial crisis. As we look forward, though, we can see many of our future business leaders will be junior achievement kids, individuals versed in financial literacy principles, individuals who understand that there are ways to finance a home other than by subprime debt, individuals who will be prepared to debate and embrace the challenges of tomorrow's economic issues, in part because of junior achievement and in large measure because of your generosity. Thank you to our five laureates who will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this evening for providing models of business success and philanthropy that our children can and will emulate. Thank you to Capital One and Sprint, which for the seventh consecutive year have served as co-presenting sponsors of this event. <laughs> Additionally, I recognize our co-sponsors of the past 20 years, the Washingtonian and Greater Washington Board of Trade. I ask that Kathy Merrill Williams, President and Publisher of The Washingtonian, stand and accept our appreciation for all you've done to make this event a success. <laughs> and I would ask Jim Diniger, President and CEO of the Board of Trade, to stand and accept our thanks as well. Jim? Outstanding business leaders and philanthropists, a total of 104 men and women have been inducted into the Hall of Fame during the past 20 years. We are honored tonight to have 24 of these laureates with us as we celebrate our 20th anniversary. I invite all laureates who are present to stand and be recognized again as we congratulate you and thank you for your contributions to our Washington region. On behalf of the kids of Junior Achievement, who may never have an opportunity to meet you, thank you for the level of confidence they will gain from mastering the basics of financial literacy, educational opportunities that your generosity is funding. As Maya Angelou once wrote, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Steve. And thanks especially to all of you for your support of this evening. But you know, I'd like to begin by acknowledging Steve as our dinner chair, and this is obviously out of his script. So ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you that I watched his passion firsthand, literally day after day, call after call, email after email, after email. <laughs> but I also saw Steve's unique creativity at work. I'll give you a quick example. At our committee's October meeting, Steve opened the meeting by suggesting, we should only make fundraising calls on days when the stock market is up. <laughs> we reevaluated that strategy the next week. But in all, serious, in all seriousness, I am pleased to tell you that under Steve's leadership, this event raised over $1.1 million to support junior achievement. And Steve, we have a small token of your appreciation for you.